Now we are going to discuss about uh, ribosomal RNA. Ribosomal RNA is the RNA that is used in the formation of the penultimate um, ribosomes and it is the part of the ribosomes. The major portion of the RNA in the cells, 80% of the total RNA, it um, is associated with ribosomes. 40 to 50% is present in the ribosomes. It, as a machinery for synthesis of proteins on the surface of ribosome messenger RNA and transfer RNA in fact to translate the information of gene in this specific particular type of proteins we have learned about that that here is our um, ribosomes large and small ribosomes small and large here is our messenger RNA it containing particular type of codons and here is our transfer RNA containing particular type of amino acids and anticodon its anticodon attach with its codons and then the process is moved forward and in such a day, way that more and more transfer RNA are attached at the codon site of messenger RNA and their amino acids are then transferred from one form to another form like there are one amino acid then other amine transfer RNA moves through this and take the previous uh, uh, transfer RNA's amino acids and form two amino acids then the third gain these two amino acids the fourth gain these three amino acids and add its own and in this way the proteins are in the form of the amino acids are growing at the end of the rates when the stop could on appear and at the stop ground there will be no further elongation of the protein in this way the messenger RNA and per transfer RNA interact at the surface of um, ribosomes or ribosomal RNA then we are going to discuss about conjugated molecules conjugated molecules are the combination of the different type of the molecules is belonging to different categories like carbohydrate may combine to form proteins these are called glycoproteins and most the cellular excretions are glycoproteins and it is an important amsecures with response to amcats bath glycoprotein and when the carbohydrate combined with lipid it is called glycolipids <clears throat> <clears throat> then they are integral structural component of the plasma membranes lipoprotein is formed by combination of the lipid and proteins nucleic acids when combined with proteins then it is called nuclear proteins nucleus like nucleus stones that is present in the chromosomes conjugated proteins are not only of structures but also of the functional significance they play an important role in the regulation of gene expression like nucleus stones there is the functions and uh, and the types of the conjugated molecules and here we have end with our lectures